Hello there! It's day 273 of our chronological Bible reading. Today we have read the book of Zechariah from chapter 8 to chapter 14. So that's the end of Zechariah chapter 14. For those of you who would like to join our chronological Bible reading, just visit my YouTube channel and on a video like this one, at the bottom there's this description box like so. Right? So just click here on uh, show more, right? Show more. Click there. And then just scroll a little bit and you'll see my social media accounts. So here, you can see my Twitter, Truth Insight underscore, my Instagram, Truth.Insight, and my Facebook at Truth Insight 2020. On these social media accounts, you will see what book and what chapters to read for the day okay so now let us share what we've learned so the book of Zechariah chapter 8 and let's just go all the way to verse 16. Verse 16. There. But this is what you must do. Tell the truth to each other. Render verdicts in your courts that are just and that lead to peace. Don't scheme against each other. Stop your love of telling lies that you swear are the truth. I hate all these things, says the Lord. So, as you can see, again, um, God is telling us that this is what we should be doing, right? Tell the truth to each other, right? So we have to be just and fair, right? We should always be peaceful with each other. So don't scheme against each other and stop telling lies, right? Even swearing. So God hates all this. says the Lord. So what is this? Basically, it is again, love your neighbor. So let's jump to the next chapter, chapter 9, and scroll um, to verse 9. All right, verse 9 here. Zion's Coming King, right? That's the title, Zion's Coming King. Rejoice, O people of Zion. Shout in triumph, O people of Jerusalem. Look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious. Yet he is humble, riding on a donkey. Riding on a donkey's colt. So this one... Like your king is coming to you, he is righteous and victorious, yet he is humble riding on a donkey. So this is Jesus, right? So Jesus is being described. And indeed, it happened. So he arrived in Jerusalem riding on a donkey. Now, let's jump to verse, I mean chapter 11. 
go all of the way to verse 12, right? And I said to them, if you like, give me my wages, whatever I am worth, but only if you want to. So they counted out for my wages 30 pieces of silver. So again, what is this? 30 pieces of silver. So this was what was paid, right, for the Judas when he betrayed Jesus. So again, this is referring to Jesus in the Old Testament. And then let's go to the next chapter, 12, verse 1. Verse 1. Let's read verse 1. Future deliverance for Jerusalem. This message concerning the faith of Israel came from the Lord. This message is from the Lord who stretched out the heavens, laid the foundations of the earth, and formed the human spirit. Okay? So, take note. This message is from the Lord who stretched out the heavens, laid the foundations of the earth, and formed the human spirit. Spirit. I will make Jerusalem an intoxicating thing. So, this is the Lord speaking, right? As described. Now, if we'll jump all the way to um, verse 10, here, then I, so the Lord was speaking, right? Then I will pour out a spirit of grace and prayer on the family of David and on the people of Jerusalem. They will look on me whom they have pierced and mourn for him as for an only son. They will grieve bitterly for him as for a firstborn son who has died. See? So, whom they have pierced. Who is that again? Again, referring to Jesus. Okay? Referring to Jesus. And then, um, let's jump to chapter 14. Scroll all the way to verse this one on that day life giving waters will flow out from Jerusalem half toward the Dead Sea and half toward the Mediterranean flowing continuously in both summer and winter so what is this life giving waters will flow out from Jerusalem so this again reminds me of that river described in Ezekiel right Right. So let's just look at it again. Ezekiel chapter 47 here. The river of healing water. Right? So as you can see here, there I saw a stream flowing east from beneath the door of the temple. Right? I could see the water flowing out through the south side of the east gateway. And then it was measured. And then it says here, this river flows east through the desert into the valley of the dead. Okay, that's all for today. See you again next time.